To fix a leaky faucet, you normally just pop the cap off the handle and then unscrew the handle to get to the cartridge. But this handle doesn't have a screw in it, so what do you do? The first thing we need to do is to shut off the water. But this sink has these plastic shutoff valves, and in my experience, these things typically break when you pop them. So if you don't want to have water spraying all over the place, you should go ahead and shut off the main shutoff valve for your water. It's usually outside of your house by your water meter. And if you don't know where it is, you can just walk around your house. It's usually by a water faucet like it is right here. So this is how you get a handle off without a screw in it. You unscrew the base of the handle. But be careful because your pliers will really damage the base of the handle. Ideally you want to use some uh, rubber wrenches like this, but if you don't have one of these pulleys, you can put some tape on a pair of pliers to minimize the scuffing on your handle base. Ideally this would just come off by hand, and if you don't have a lot of corrosion it might just come off by hand. But mine's on there pretty tight and I had to use a pair of pliers. The same with the cap that goes over the cartridge. It was pretty corroded here too and took a pipe wrench to get it off. Once you get the cap off, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to pop out the cartridge. Then it should just come out by hand. All right. I just took this cartridge down to the hardware store to find out what size it is. For me, it was the Moen 1224 cartridge. It may be different for you or it may be the same. To clean up some of this corrosion on the faucet, I got out some plain old white vinegar and some paper towels and a scrub brush. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up the best I can before I put it back together. Kind of cut down on some of this corrosion in here. Screwing it back together with some white vinegar in there can also help clean out the threads. Are you sure that's the one that's leaking? It might not be. <laughs> and that was the last one. Nice. But we can we have the number here, we can order it. So my wife just asked me if I'm sure that this is the right faucet that's leaking. Normally you would shut off the water to the hot and then uh, see if it's still leaking and then you'd know it's on the cold side. Or you'd shut off the water to the cold side and if it's still leaking you'd know it's on the hot side. But with those plastic shutoff valves under there I figured if I tried to shut those off that way it would spray water everywhere. So I just went ahead and shut off the main water valve and I figured I mainly use the hot water in here so it's probably the hot water valve. So I'm just guessing here but I think this is a pretty good guess. But we'll see in the end. Man this thing's hard to get open. When you put the cartridge back in, you'll see that there's a nib in there that it fits into and that'll keep the cartridge from moving around when you turn on the faucet handle. I didn't get a good close-up of it, but it's pretty easy to see when you're putting this in there. Once you get it in there, you can screw the fitting back on to hold it in place. You should just be able to put the handle back on, but mine didn't quite fit right, so I had to make a few adjustments. You can move the top of the cartridge around a little bit until it fits in there just right. Once you get it on, you can move the handle and turn it off and on and make sure it's in the right spot. If not, you'll have to take it off again and make some adjustments, but it looks like it's good. I'm just going to tighten it up and then we'll turn the water back on. The other problem with turning the water off outside is if it took you a while to do this and it's dark, you're gonna have to bring a flashlight out.
All right, well, let's see if it worked. give it a minute to build up some water pressure. Yeah, look now. There's no drip. All right, I fixed it. And now you know how to fix it too. If you have a mowing handle like this without a screw in the top under the handle, now you know you can just unscrew the base of the handle and then take the thing apart and replace the cartridge in it. And you can fix your leaking faucet too.